Hello, this is Mike with Car Checks here at this 2022 Audi Q4 e-tron Premium Plus Doing a walk around here Has a beautiful white finish looks like factory paint Headlights are clear, good condition. The front end looks nice. I don't see any chips. Just a little dirty here, needs a cleaning. Paint's in excellent condition. Front tires at 1330 seconds. Looks very nice. Great condition. Noticing these brake pads are extremely thick and have a lot of life left. And at the same time, I'm noticing some little grooves, just some little in the rotor. Looks like they may have had a abrupt stop, may have caused some slight warpage at some point would have to drive it the pads are still practically new though all right back tire same as the front excellent condition a lot of life the rear brakes you can't see looks like a rear drum system front and rear tires match notice a small scratch here on the body it's on the driver's rear corner. Same on the right rear tire. Same looks good. Tire's still good, 1330 seconds. Looks nice, a lot of life. Here's the front rotor. Here's the pad, still got a lot of life. Have a little bit of oxidation here to the chrome. Looks like it needs a wash. It's got a pretty metallic pearl finish there, I see it. All right, just got in the vehicle. I see a warning, it says air conditioner malfunction. It's got 208 miles to go. It's got 11,752 miles on it. All right, performed the OBD scan on this 22 Audi. Showing to have some fault codes in red. A copy will be sent to the customer. Alright, so we have codes in these systems that are red. They would need to be checked again by the dealer. Here's the OKs. Here's the red. Showing the next inspection is due. Okay, it's at 80% the charge.
Looks like the chargers here, floor mats. Looks like that's what you get for tools. It's like a towing thing. Looks pretty clean in here. Everything seems to work so far. Seat materials in good condition. All the seat belts are working good. All the functions are working and moving properly. This reservoir looks good, fluid looks nice, same here, there's your coat, your, uh, your washer fluid's nice and full as well, which fluids look good, noticing these are factory lights, I don't see any signs of accident, no signs of repainting, everything looks nice. All right, having a look on the bottom here. Front bumper looks pretty nice. I don't see any gouges in it. Looks normal under here. Here's the rear. Looks clean. No rust. No scratches under here.
just some normal indication from driving. Other than that, vehicle looks nice. All right, just performed a battery test on this battery under the hood area, showing to be at 84%, which is still a good battery. Terminal's in good condition, no corrosion. All right, backup camera's clear. All right, so I'm here at the moon roof function. Not sure why I'm not getting anything to happen here. I can get it to vent, but I cannot get it to to open. No matter what I press. Try this one. I hear it clicking up here in the dash, but I'm not getting nothing happening. All I can do is get a vent out of it. All right, so I'm here with the scanner and I am watching the cells and I'm checking the voltage here and everything seems to be in its normal range. Numbers are consistent. Everything seems to be within specification. The cell voltages are close. Looks good. Here's all the systems that we were able to scan. In all the areas that were in red were the trouble codes. Here's another glance at them. Fix the bumps nice. All right, hang on a second. I was testing the seat heater. These things are getting pretty hot on me. Looks like they get up to about a hundred. There's the air conditioner error. I'm currently receiving about 60, 60 degrees coming out of here. It's dropping. It could be better. I feel like the 
the front rotors are warped a little bit. I could see the discoloration and the ridges on them when I was inspecting it, and I could feel it when I drive it. When I hit it really hard, I could. Somebody, somebody messed those up. They need to be turned. Usually what happens is, is somebody makes a very abrupt stop and they get extremely hot and that's what it causes that. It's got nice acceleration. Handles pretty good. Drives nice. Don't pull. Pretty good bump here. Don't hear any noise. All right, so I'm not sure about this uh, moonroof function. I can get it to vent. I can get it to close. But I can't get it to open. I'd like to see it open all the way here. I think something's funny. All it does is open about three four inches and vent if something needs to be checked in there got some codes there need to check it's got a air conditioner malfunction it's not blowing out super cold I got the heat on but it doesn't seem to be heating super fast but it is switching here it takes about 20 seconds here it comes All right, I went for a test drive. These are the rotors. They do appear to have some warpage. I felt it. However, the brake pads look great. So, uh, rotors look like they could be turned. It would improve it. It didn't stop terrible, but I did feel it. All right, and also, when you run your finger across it, it should be smooth. And I'm feeling some, some bumps there. You can see them. Here's another Audi in the parking lot for comparison. This is what the rotor looks like on this car. This one obviously has more miles on it. Like, has it thing else? And here's the vehicle the customer is looking to purchase. So, other than that, this seems to be a very nice looking vehicle. It runs and drives great. Just has some things that need to be checked out in service.
All right. As always, thanks for watching. Appreciate the thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Have a great day. God bless.